Grand Rising. It's my last full day in New York. And there's lots to do, so. Y'all ready to come with me? I need y'all with me in spirit, okay? So, come on, let's go. Hey beauties, hey fellas. Okay. So, my African dance class is in about two hours. I'm glad it's not far away. I don't have to get on the subway. I can just get on the bus and go straight there but i want to eat i'm hungry so i really want to wait until after the dance class because i don't want to be like full and bloated and got the itis and things like that so i'm just going to keep fasting and after the dance class i'm going to eat some food because i'm still trying to decide what i want like rosa pizza was a really good greedy pot was a really good um but i want to try something new even bo's bagel was really good but i'll be damned if i pay 18 dollars for another salmon lots bagel sandwich i don't think so i definitely don't think so when uh, rosa pizza i got three slices and a drink for 19 so why would i do that no good though it was very good <sighs> if it was 12 dollars, okay but i gotta decide what i want i've never had slutty vegan before so i want to get some slutty vegan um i also want to check out lighthouse and seafood market yeah oh i want another milkshake from harlem shake shack or is it harlem shake yeah um, so this is going on, but I'm so excited to go to this African dance class because I used to dance afro Haitian in high school and that was many, many moons ago. So I know I still got it, but shit, <sighs> I'm not small like I was in high school. I was never small. I was always thick, but still. I've gained some weight since then and shit just ain't been the same since high school. But it's still in my heart, it's still in my spirit, my soul. When I hear the drum, baby. <laughs> Ready to get down. So I just got a Betty Boop crop top, which I wear this all the time in memory of my grandma and Betty. She loved Betty Boop. She had Betty Boop everything. So I'm wearing this for her. And then my leggings and my sneakers. Fanny pack, which I absolutely love this fanny pack. And it hides the extra stomach that I have, unfortunately. I think it hides it pretty good. Cause I still got this small waist, but damn fat, just go where I wanna go. Like, no. So, yeah. But don't get it twisted. I don't have a fupa. And ladies, let me tell y'all. Just because you got some extra stomach at the bottom, it doesn't mean you have a fupa. My doctor has to tell me this. He said, I don't have a fupa. Why? Because it, my stomach is not covering my vagina. Okay, I can still see my vagina. Standing straight, it's there, sitting pretty. So ladies, if your stomach is not covering your vagina, you do not have a food book, okay? Good. So I had no idea that there would be a line for this bakery. Honey, 
Go case in the boots, check. check. You can hear when I step, step, step. All the Chevy and painted it red. Money long, it can't fit in the bed. It don't matter what nobody says. Country boy to the day that I'm dead. You won't smoke on the Marlboro, man. Cut it out before it get out of hand. This ain't Calabas. Tell me how it's me take back on. Never been riding, bitch. Stepping that stirrup, hop on my saddle. Snick on my feet, they rattle. In the bag, only thing getting nasty. And I'm still going up like a ladder. And I'm still in the field like cat. Cadillac like back on the road. We take your roof for the floor. Just say what you need from the store. Oh, oh. Put some bricks on my stove. Chiffy cornbread, booty corn fed. Body rolls at the road and you're walking at home. Oh, oh. Riding through. Just to put my eyes on you. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. I hear the drums. I hear them drums. <laughs> and one. my gosh did y'all see me did y'all see how i was moving in that african class like it really took me back to high school when i really just had it going on like did y'all see that could y'all tell how i just had it i still got it just a little bit just a little bit oh i'm so proud of myself the whole time while i was in there i was just like unique you really found this class it was really meant to be that's what i tell y'all i have not done that in over oh my gosh it's been like two decades now y'all wow and i feel like i still got it the only thing because of like the weight that has been gained over all the years and then the injuries and stuff I couldn't do it like I really wanted to. Then my ankle started hurting on me because I twisted my ankle like in the past and it just ain't healed completely since. I started feeling it. But I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. Oh. And then I met two beautiful women, three actually, three beautiful women because the instructor Lori, Lori, Lori. It was such an amazing, amazing, amazing pleasure meeting you. It was just such an honor. You are so beautiful inside and out, Lori. Thank you so much for this time, for this experience. It really means so much to me. Like, words can't even express how your class 
just meant so much to me. Thank you so much. And when I do come back to New York, I will be back in your studio. I promise. And I have your number. So as soon as I come out, if I don't find anything on Groupon, oh, I already know the schedule, but even if the schedule changes, I know your website, I will be in contact whenever I come back to New York. And that's a promise. Jamil and Lori, or Lo, my bad, Lo. It was just such a surprising, beautiful pleasure meeting you two beautiful ladies. You know, when you travel by yourself, you don't know who you're gonna come across, you know, if people are gonna be nice to you or not. And you two beautiful ladies was just so amazing to me. Lori, you were so amazing to me. You made me feel so comfortable. Thank you so much. I will never, ever forget this time. Thank you. I'm getting emotional. Lower emotional Pisces. Um, it has been nothing short of an amazing trip. And this is my last full day. Tomorrow, I have an awesome event planned for my birthday. I'm hella excited about that. And we're just about to keep enjoying this New York life, this New York trip. So that's what we're about to do. And we're gonna turn up tonight. And that's what we are gonna do. We're gonna turn up tonight because we haven't been like turning up like late night. So we definitely need to do that. Oh. You guys, if you wanna travel, travel. Who cares if no one wants to travel with you, if it's just not good timing for your friends and all that stuff travel oh my god i got one minute left on this sd card just do it just take that chance don't be scared book that flight book that um airbnb or that hotel you know so just do it y'all comment down below if you are a solo traveler where have you traveled and what was your favorite place to travel to to, to give me some more ideas of just where i want to go next so yeah y'all talk to y'all later Look at that horse, look at that horse, look at that horse. See as hell, I'm not to rail, done it on first. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. A good night. Your patience is thin, your hormones is right at the rim. It was just going in. Fuck it, do it again. Hell, T, why I ain't win? I ain't stopping by them. Shit on the chin, come back and fuck up the pen. Say the things that I know will offend. For that shit that I know start a trend. Take the boot, got it off with a spin. Ain't no tie, feel the wind on my skin. Oh, oh, snakes on the chin. They hiss and don't listen to them. They bite every once and again, but it gets stumped on when we bucking, 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 whoa, bucking, 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 like a mechanical bull. Bucking, bucking, bucking.
All right, so I had to rush out because it's almost eight o'clock and they said that you should be there early. So, um, I'm feeling a little risque. I want to show you guys the shirt I have on, but YouTube wouldn't like that. But it's sheer. It's a sheer shirt. And then my bra is also sheer. So, yeah. Quick little peek. But I really love this shirt. And I love myself and I'm feeling myself. If I could me right here, right now, I would do that. Looking in the mirror like me, like, no. Looking in the mirror at me like God, like who that? Like who that? Feeling myself wanna. <laughs> time I really enjoyed all of the performances so that was a jazz session and in a jazz session anyone can sign up and play their instrument or sing so that was really nice oh that is so pretty Hold on. so I want to check out Minton's because I don't know okay so I ran out of battery I mean, not battery, but storage. So remember we walked past this place?
I don't hear anything. When I was at Harlem Shake, a band was there. You know, y'all saw it. And they said that they were gonna be at Minton's. It's so quiet though. Like, are the doors like soundproof? Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, I can peek in. Oh. Look like it's some stuff going down in there. All right, let's see. What it's hitting for. I hope it's not expensive, guys. Hello. Oh, good, are you? Ooh, it smells good in here. Oh, I like this vibe already. She's in here. She was oh, in here okay. Early. Oh my God, I'm so right? sorry. Weren't you in here that. earlier? No. You weren't. Oh, it was the other place, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, after a after time, eleven, time. I believe now it should be a jam session. Yeah, yeah. So we so, just come in. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Night. I saw her face. I was oh, like, those no, 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 are, that's so my good. people right there. I just saw her. So that's my last night here. I go back home tomorrow. Where are you from? California. Oh really? Yeah. So you know the lady that was doing the jam session earlier? Mm -hmm. She lived in California for years. Really? Yes. Yeah, so you Kelly, performing I'm today? No. You could. Why not? You always could. I don't. You're not You're not yeah. this thing. You want to sit down? You look like one. In, in my heart, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I think order. Maybe just chill out at the bar. It's totally up to you. Oh, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna order a drink. All right. You can you can order a drink at the table too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. Thank you. And, uh, and it's oh, it's so beautiful here. I love the vibe. You want to get close? You can hear the bands. Absolutely. Who said where are you? You want a menu? Yes, please. Thank you. I know exactly what I want. Hi, what can I get? A French 75. A French 75? Yes. Yeah, I said I, I, I can stay out because I leave tomorrow, my birthday is tomorrow, so I'm like, I can stay out. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wait, Jazz spot. 
I'm so glad that James is here now. <laughs> Give it up for James one more time.
shouldn't even stay for this part because I need to talk to my girls I need to talk to my ladies okay now for the fellas that do watch me and we like the same type y'all can say so when I tell y'all this night has been the best night of all nights why because I really just had a time of my life going to all the different jazz, what do you call them? Well, they're called jazz sessions. No, jazz, yeah, I think so. And that's when all musicians can come out and they're, they just do their thing, right? So, I went to Harlem Speakeasy, room 623. Then I left there and I went to Minton's. When I tell you, Minton's, they're both a vibe, but Minton's, 
Minton's. If you had to go to one, go to Minton's, okay? When I tell you, I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life. Um, wow. Why did I have to come to New York to be shown how I should be treated anywhere that I go? Why did I have to come all the way to the East Coast? When I tell you, everything that I got at Minton's, everything that I ordered, I had three French 75s, I had lamb chops, truffle fries, roasted potatoes. Why? The owner of Minton's took care of me. Told me don't I lift a finger to get my wallet. <laughs> oh, honey. <sighs> That's how I should be treated at all times, okay? It's not every day that us women, especially the ones like, when I say us women, the women that are working a nine to five, single mothers, just, you know, we want to live that soft life. You know, we, we tired, we tired of having to be masculine or hard for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to meet men like that on a regular do you hear me? On a regular. When he introduced himself to me, I was like, the way that he spoke to me, um, let me know if you need anything, you know? I was like, does he own this place? He sound like a man of confidence, a um, boss, a man that will take care of anything. Like, I'm like, he must own this place. When I tell y'all, he kept coming to check up on me. First of all, I was sitting behind him. He ended up, um, he said, oh, you know, I'm here. I brought my daughter. You know, I was like, okay. You know, his daughter was enjoying some drinks. I'm like, okay, so she's old enough to drink. Okay. So he kept asking me if I was okay. I was like, yeah, I'm okay. He was like, you need anything? I'm like, no, I'm good. He said, how about I, I get you another round on the house? I was like, okay. That's what I want to hear. Uh, then he then he came back. And um, then I just, like, he said, are you having a good time? I said, yes. And as of now, because by that time it was like 1242, I'm like, it's my birthday. And he was like, happy birthday. He was like, how about I go get a drink and then we can have a cheers. We can make a toast. I was like okay but I'm sitting there I'm listening to the music like the musicians are amazing and I'm like I'm looking back like what is taking this man so long and I'm like where is he <laughs> then I look back and I see him and he's like mingling and everything right so I'm like okay by this time it's like 1 30 ish I'm getting tired I'm not really used to staying up this late you know and especially on a Sunday I gotta go to sleep and get ready for work so I'm thinking I know exactly what I need to do because I have a good judgment of character and I already know he got me right so I went to the waitress and I was like um, can you give me my track I'm ready to go then I saw him so I walked over to him and I was like you forgot about me and he was like I am so sorry and um, he was like no I just got really busy I'm, I'm thinking yeah I saw you I know He's just working the room, like walking around, working the room, talking to everybody. Of course, everyone knows him because he's the owner, right? So I said, yeah, like I'm getting ready to head out. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then he hugged me. And when I tell y'all, he smells so fucking good. Oh, that man smells so fucking good. And I just smelled him like, oh, I hope no one was watching me because the way I was smelling that man, I was like, <laughs> he smells so good. Um, 
he was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And, um, he was like, I forgot and I got the most beautiful woman in here. And I, I was like, say it again. <laughs> uh, so when I said, I'm just, I'm waiting for my check, I gotta go. He said, oh no, don't worry about that. I'm like, mm-hmm. So then the waitress came and she like stood next to me like she was about to show me my bill and he looked at her and he was like, no, I got her. You got me. <sighs> then, oh, he hugs me again. And I was like, you don't even got to let me go. You smell so damn good. <sighs> You smell so good. You ain't even gotta let me go, okay? And I know I smell good. So, it's just nothing like, oh, a man. He just smells so good. Just, ooh. So, um, then he kissed me on my cheek. He kept kissing me on my cheek, you know? He kept kissing me. It was like he was trying to get closer to my lips. But, um, then he said, so when are you, he said, how long are you gonna be here? I was like, I'm leaving today. Then he hugged me again. I was like, oh. <laughs> and he said, um, man, I wish I would have met you sooner. And what would have happened? You would have shown me around the city. You would have shown me like what, what it's like to be with a boss. What? <laughs> I would have been all in. I'm telling you, I'm single, I'm open. I am open and ready to mingle, okay? Especially with the right man. And he was the right man. So, then he was like, can I give you my card? You know, so when you, whenever you come back, you know. And I was like, yeah, you can give me your card. And the car smelled just like him, y'all. <laughs> oh, it smelled just like him. And he has a name I've never heard of before. Hmm. Yeah. What time am I leaving tomorrow? I'm leaving if my plane takes off at 5 p.m. I got time, I got some hours. Should I hit him up? YOLO, right? I should hit him up. Spend some hours, a few hours with him. Spend the rest of my time with him. <laughs> Cause I'm sure he want me to use that number now. I'm sure. So, that's how my night went y'all. That's how my night went. I'm telling you, the older I become, the more confident I feel, the more sexy I feel. Like, I know a lot of people are like hesitant, afraid, whatever the case is about getting older. I'm feeling amazing. I'm not feeling that at all. Of course, my 30th birthday, I cried, you know, but I'm 38 and I'm feeling like this, like... <laughs> Even with the size and the weight that I am, I'm sexy in the motherfucker. I'm beautiful as a motherfucker. And can't nobody tell me no different. No, I may not be everybody cup of tea and I don't have to be because I'm only one person anyway. Just let me have my chosen few. Make it do what it do. Until I actually settle down, if, you know, if it happens. I mean, of course I would love to, but... It has to be the right person. On that note, I'm going to say goodnight to y'all. Happy birthday to me. Oh, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you.
you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Your love is my truest, truest, greatest blessing. Your grace, your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. I'm rejoicing. I'm so grateful. I'm so 